and we have Derby Fair on the menu today and we never tire of bringing you this fixture the Nerazzurri against the Rossoneri my name is Derek Ray and alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson Stuart, a lot to look forward to here well Derek, this is Italian football at its very best great atmosphere, two teams with a wonderful history and a big rivalry, this should be good today Here's the Milan team. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And a look at the Inter team. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. A game that should have talking points aplenty. And Inter with a kick-off here. Mkhitaryan Chalanolu Dzeko Now what can Inter do from this position? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end A foul, but advantage played And Inter doing well to win the ball back Dzeko well he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent so what should we expect to see from him in this game Stuart well Derek we know his movement is very clever but it's the speed of that movement that causes defenders so many problems he's got great pace he gets 1v1 against the goalkeepers and nobody can recover well a clear and early statement of intent from the referee it's a booking Stuart well the referee has made it absolutely clear he's not going to mess around here Elects to go short, and a fine cross, and they deal with the threat this time. Giroud, and they have possession again. Barella. Dzeko. Well, ruled to have taken up an illegal position, only just. <laughs> a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Diaz, Benasser, able to skip past his man, oh surely, and the keeper getting across to stop it.
Going short. Liao. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Hendrik Mikitarian. Dzeko. Barella has it. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Martinez. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, he saved it! Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Well, the short corner routine. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Jihou and Milan moving the ball with purpose. Jihou. Well, they keep passing away. Jihou. It could be. It's still alive. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Giroud. Can they forge ahead? No. Chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Mkhitaryan and intercepted it it's a promising Milan move it's there for him Benasser chance to play it in still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Oh, fancy footwork. Real chance. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Chalanolu. Benassa. And Milan looking dangerous. Diaz. Benasser. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Being egged on by the crowd. Can he play it in? Benasser. Diaz. Zero! Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Mikitarian breaking at pace. Mikitarian on to Martinez. And in with a real chance. Shot blocked, but still alive. Danger averted. Dzeko, oh, good work to deny the opportunity.
And how about the short corner? Mkhitaryan. Poor pass. Barella. Well, able to close down the short. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Barella. Chalhanolu. And still looking for space. And space to cross it. Martinez. A deep delivery. A really intense pressure applied. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. A game that should have talking points aplenty. And Inter with the kickoff here. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence he has stopped play. And the game restarted by means of a drop ball. Well, just look at those stats. It's been a really good, tight game. Chances at both ends and some really enterprising forward play. Dzeko. Inter in a position of menace. And he takes it on. And a body in the way. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Here it is now, a substitution. A goal! Inter take the lead in the derby! A real jolt to the home fans! Well, let's look at this again because it gets better and better each time you see it. It's perfect technique. Lots of movement on the ball and nothing the opposition can do about this apart from don't give free kicks away. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Gabia. And to Rebic has it. And a textbook interception. Martinez. A really vital interception. This might be ideal for the counter. Opportunity it is. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. And the substitution will occur now. Uh, 
And over it comes. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Barella. Dzeko. And it's with Dumfries. Martinez. Shielding the ball superbly. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. 30 minutes left for play. And the referee blows for a foul. So making the substitution now. Dzeko, Barella has it, Lukaku, will it be, big chance it is, and the keeper more than equal to the task. It's a short one. It's an opportunity. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. And taken short. Dangerous ball. It might still be problematic. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Breaking at pace. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. Yeah, you can see he's got a problem with his foot. It looks as though he's treading on it a little tenderly. I think he actually got trodden on in that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. Leal. And treading it forward. Now the attack fizzled out. And into the last 20 minutes. Barella. On to Martinez. Smuggled away. Dzeko. Lukaku. Holding it up, waiting for... Martinez! Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Benassa and Milan moving the ball with purpose Rebic could play it in he's very adept at protecting the ball Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. And a chance for him on the flank.
Martinez. Lukaku waiting. Well, nothing untoward happened. Rafael Leao. A very good tackle. Rebic. On to Martinez. Very quick thinking there. Olivier Giroud. Well, they might be onto something. And he could cash in. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game. And what a finale we could be in for here. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Sandro Tonali. Olivier Giroud. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Benasser. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Liao. This could be the equaliser. Really important tackle. Under real pressure defensively. Will they pay the price? So there we have it, the referee blows for full time and frustration for Milan, whatever way you look at it. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, a hugely influential role played by Lautaro Martinez. Sensational performance from him on all levels. Stuart, what did you make of what you saw? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him. Martinez. 